right everybody good morning it's a late start for me it's it was almost nine o'clock i think but woke up this morning and it was pouring rain uh there was a couple of storms still around so um i decided just to wait it out and then uh, get out as soon as it cleared up there is a few possibilities of some more storms coming in in the afternoon i'll keep an eye on them but all right guys so i'm back on the outback today as you can see um and uh i'm happy uh i haven't been on it there was a crack in the hole um <clears throat> on the left left hand side where the seat sits um that's where the the, the crack was the crack was and uh turned out well i uh called Estero River Outfitters. That's my local outfitter. Uh, that's where I get all my stuff. And uh, they took care of it. They sent an email to Hobie. Hobie came right back with no problem. Uh, waited, I think it was two weeks maybe. I'll double check on that. Um, and then we had a new, new kayak right back to us. So very happy with the service there and very happy with the sterile river and hobie themselves for uh, i've been hearing so many bad things lately on some videos about hobie and then the fact that they're being bought they were bought out by an investment company and they weren't honoring a lot of warranties mine went well so that's all i can say about that i can't just, i have no idea what other people are going through but all right guys so today I do want to keep some stuff for dinner. I'd like to keep some snapper, maybe a redfish. Um, I'm going to be heading out, going uh, south today. Just because if it gets wild, the wind and everything's going to be blowing from the south. And I can just ride that stuff back in today. Um, oh, oh, it took a hit there. All right. Well, anyways, so that's the plan and uh i am gonna go to a little spot where there's usually some tarpon so we'll see if they're around today see you in a little bit there we go there he is. oh lady man i was about to say that ain't no trout man he hit that with some vengeance <sighs> wow what a smack So here, I'll probably, if I do anchor myself, will be on the oyster bed itself, fishing out since my anchor rope's so short. I got the short today, so I can't just anchor. There's about 10 feet of water maybe here right now, eight, somewhere between eight and 10. See somebody besides that lady here. There. That's a trout. Feels like a trout. Oh no, yucky, it feels like a catfish. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a trout. targeted species of the day. Trout.
Be a good trout or a foul hook something. Oh, that's a bluefish? Yeah, that's a blue. Some blues. Bluefish. Wow. We're expecting you there, buddy. Oh, I'm not gonna get any blues, alright. Stop, stop. Very sharp teeth, guys. Very sharp teeth. That's a bluefish. Right next to the oyster bed. Step out and fish out here. It is knee deep right now. Not a problem. I'm gonna come over here and push this just a little more. Make sure I'm good to go. Come over here. You wear good boots. This is all oyster beds I'm stepping on here, but let's see what's over here, guys. The trout. Oh, man, there. I might have to put a different jig head on. Sharp. Oh, that's a hit. There he is. Oh, that was a lady, I think. I mean, it's just. There's another one there. After I lost that one, another trout right here, guys. None of these guys are keepers. Not really. I don't know how the one the bluefish was. He's close. I don't think so. There's no trout. Off. These guys are pretty aggressive right here. trout rod and reel I set up just for these guys um, it's this little thing here let's try it really lightweight reflections Okuma with the Daiwa 1000 something forgot the name of the reel but it's a 1000 regal it's a regal Daiwa regal Cast a mile, I think that's eight pound test we put on there. And then uh, I think I got 25 pound leader right now.
Holy moly. No idea what that was. Maybe on video I will see him. Could have been a shark coming to get him. I'm not sure. Well guys, we'll see on the video hopefully. We can see what that was. Pretty sure it was a shark chasing that trout in. Then he saw me and spooked away. They're gone. A shark spooked them. now making sure someone's not chasing him again Feel like I, I could have been doing the same thing you know 100 years ago 300 years ago a thousand years ago 5,000 years ago I feel like I was built to be fishing like this usually some tarpon back here doesn't mean that they're not around.
There we go. It's another red. On the NLBN. Fifteen. Fifteen incher. He's got some cool dots there. Two different ones there. There we go. That was the guy. All right. Just stopped to have some lunch now, uh, and uh, just trying to figure out what to do next. Uh, the winds picked up quite a bit from the southwest. Not an issue though. Um, I might just fish my way back down the mangrove line or I might make the cross uh, the pass to see what's going on on the other side. I didn't see any tarpon over here today. Um, and uh, I just want to see if I can find a few juveniles somewhere. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Um, yeah, look at this. So this is just one of these flat uh, Hobie attachments and I just screwed tons of all purpose screws. So they're not stainless steel, but I guess they're stainless steel coated. I'm not sure. So I just screwed, as you can see, there's five of them in there. And that thing's pretty solid in there. And uh, I had this umbrella. I took the bottom part, I took the bottom part off the umbrella and then screwed it on top of here and still have the maneuverability. I can attach that to my H crate in the back and that's how I use it to bring it up and not have to hold it. Uh, when I get caught up in the wind. So now you can see it's catching some some wind now. I'm going a little faster. So it's kind of hard to see, but it'll be all right. Oh, well guys, I'm getting some free horsepowers on the way home. Got the umbrella up again. Under you, one of the most underutilized tools on this planet. I keep telling you, uh, I keep telling everybody that. So right here, just getting some free speed on the way back. Um, I'm not really gonna fish on the way back. Uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow. So uh, yeah, this is probably it for the day. Unless I see something going on on the way back. Um, that's it. So. If you're tired of watching me fish out here and not being able to catch all these fish, give us a call at 941-999-1365. All you gotta do is call, text us, and we'll book you a trip and we'll get you on some of these fish. We'll get you on one of these awesome Hobie kayaks and uh, we'll show you everything that we do out here. 
So thanks for watching and see you soon.